going through question number three. Find the gradient and the y-intercept of the following straight lines. Okay, so you've got straight lines, okay, and you need to find out the gradient and the y-intercept. So let's write that down. M is equal to question mark, y-intercept is equal to question mark. All right, equation of the line. What is the equation of the line? Y is equal to mx plus c. Great, let's write down our equation that they've given us. Y is equal to 8x minus 7. So the next part is just by identifying. We know that that's the gradient, that's your y-intercept. So essentially, your gradient is going to be what? 8, and your y-intercept is going to be negative 7. You don't want to just write down 8. You have to write down m is equal to 8. And your y-intercept is equal to negative 7. And how I want you to write your y-intercept is not just by writing negative 7. You have to write the coordinate as well. Okay, so that has to be done. Question part 2 of 3. Okay, it says find the gradient and the y-intercept. So some people might go, oh, cool. That's the y-intercept and that's the gradient, right? Because you've got y equals mx plus c and you're like, oh, cool, m is the 6, right? And this is going to be the y-intercept. No, you're wrong. Okay, you've got to think about this through. What's the equation of the line? y equals mx plus c. Right, is there anything bothering the y? Yeah, there's actually a 3 on this side, and there's also a 6x. So we need to solve for y. What does that even mean, solve for y? It means you need to isolate y. You need to make it by itself, and you need to eliminate anything that's on its side, any variables. So we have here 6x, and we've got the 3. And we've got to know what the operations are being done to this y. So in this situation, you've got... 3y, see, and 6x. So let's move, so let's write this down again. 6x plus 3y equals 30. So what's frustrating the 3y or the y in this situation? You've got the 6x. Let's move the 6x to this side. So it's going to do opposite. Minus 6x, minus 6x. Now you're left with 6x take away 6x. This cancels out to be 0. 3y is equal to negative 6x plus 30. Okay, some people might write it as 30 minus 6x, but I would want to put it in this particular format, which means mx plus c format. In the equation of the line, you still have y equals mx plus c. This is not y equals mx plus c yet. Why? Because the 3 is there. How do you get rid of the 3? You got to ask yourself, what operation is 3 doing to the y? 3 is being multiplied by y. So how are you going to get rid of it? you're going to divide it. The way you get rid of things is by doing the opposite. So doing divide by 3, divide by 3. You have to divide everything on the right-hand side by 3. That's what an equation is. Equation is whatever you're doing to the left-hand side, you're doing to the right-hand side. But you're doing everything is being done on the right-hand side, whatever you've done. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now you're left with y is equal to negative 6 over 3 is going to be negative 2x plus 30 over 3 is going to be plus 10. Right, so if the question asks, what's the gradient and the y-intercept? m is equal to negative 2, and your y-intercept is going to be 10, also known as 0, 10. And I need to see the actual coordinate. So that's kind of the end of the question. The way we go about it is by writing out the equation of the line. That's something that you all should know off by heart. The second thing is, that we've done here looking back is we rearranged it because we know that in the form of y equals mx plus c the actual y is isolated we need to solve for y this is going back to year 7 8 9 10 and 11 right now the whole concept of solving this question just means solve for y so you may you solve for y you make y by itself and now you're left with whatever's on the right hand side then you get the answer and you're just identifying the gradient and the y-intercept.